Hey there view, welcome to the third step of create reports and dashboards for sales managers and marketing. This one is about filtering your reports. Use report filters. You can add up to 20 additional filters to report directly in the filters pane using the add button or by dragging in fields from the preview pane. In addition, you can also use filter logic using AND, OR and NOT operators. Let's meet the needs of your next stakeholder, the VP of Marketing, to see how filters and filter logic works. He would like to see a list of all customer accounts based in Texas, North Carolina, Illinois and New York that have either a rating of hot or warm or an annual revenue over 2 million US dollars. Create a new account report. Click the reports tab. Click new report. In the choose report type list, click all and select accounts. So it's already pre selected. Click continue, click the filters pane. Click show me and all accounts. And then click apply, click create date, click all the time from the range pick list and click apply. Click the outline pane, click X next to the following fields to remove those columns from the report. Last activity, last modified date. Click the fields pane to expand the list of fields. Click annual revenue to add it to the report. Click the X to close the fields pane. Click and drag annual revenue column so it's placed between account name and a billing state. Also well, interesting, this, if you drag this, apparently this reflects the sorting here as well. So we learned something new. Click and drag the annual reports revenue near OK. Add the necessary filters and filter logic. Click the filters pane, search for type in add filter. In the operator field, select contains customer. Click apply, we did that. Repeat steps two to five above to create the following three additional filters. Building state province equals. So let's copy this here, copy paste it. Click apply, rating hot warm.
and apply node annual revenue is two million six zeros we pasted it so we can make any mistakes here in the filters pan click the arrow next to filters and click add filter logic in the edit filter logic field change logic one and two okay For some reason pasting this didn't work, but uh, we could choose this from the pick list. So it contains customer and the building stage and free all so it needs to be either hot warm or greater than 2 million save the report as central and eastern targets account in the marketing reports folder Save and run, Sandra and Eastern target accounts. Unique name doesn't have to match to anything, so we can leave it as it is. Who are our important customers in the Central and Eastern states? That's a description. And it's supposed to be in the marketing reports folder. It is the subfolder of the um, folder we created, the global folder. And there we have it. Yeah, it looks exactly like it looks there. Use relative dates. Instead of filtering data by calendar dates, such as close dates, is greater than January 1st, 2020. Filter your report by a relative date, close date this year. Yes, Salesforce will understand this value. Our CEO is very focused on user adoption of Salesforce and wants to ensure the company is getting the most out of its Lulus licenses. He wants a weekly report of all users who have not logged into Salesforce in the last seven days as well as when their login access is set to expire. How would you accomplish this? Customize the user's report type to display users who have not logged in during the last seven days. Click Reports tab, click New Report. Enter users in the search box. Click continue, click the outline panel. In the add column search box, enter login access and then select login access expiration date. Click 
Click the filters pane, click the last filter logic filter. Equals Okay, I don't really see this login access expiration date from the drop down list. And use a uh, calendar date or relative. So I don't really get it. Oh, we can choose the field here. Okay. Doesn't really exist here. Apparently, um, this is written a bit wrong, so we can also add this, I guess. Um, Yeah, I'm not really sure like what this is about. Click the last login filter in the filters pane. There is none, so I would have to create that. And then after that, I said add a uh, last login filter. So it's kind of weird. Let's just enter it like that. I guess we will get an error if it doesn't work. Okay. We'll just uh, continue with the other stuff and if we get an error later then um, we will deal with that. I'll figure something out. Last login. Then select last login, create a filter with these details. For operator, select not equal to value. Relative date, last. Seven days. Click save and run. Users not locked in last seven days. Again, a unique name doesn't have to match. We haven't locked in the last seven days. We're supposed to paste it here. And then we are supposed to choose the adoption folder. Select folder, save. So time to verify this and see if we will get an error. 
course here this one I couldn't really figure out let's see from Central and Eastern target account report When do we have the folders? So let's see. This one is supposed to be in the marketing reports. Not really sure what that error is about. Let's check again. The challenge has already been completed. Interesting. So apparently there's some sort of bug in Salesforce. So it worked uh, despite me not having figured out this one. Uh, anyway, I hope this was helpful. To see the next step, you can uh, view the playlist link in uh, the description if you don't continue to watch for today thank you so much for watching and hit the like button if you like this video hit subscribe if you want to see more videos thank you for watching and shukriya to my indian viewers